Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is regression. This topic is from third unit statistics. In previous lecture, we have discussed correlation, correlation coefficient. Here now regression. See what is regression? If x and y are correlated, if x and y are correlated, then in that case we find the coefficient of correlation. Now, if x and y are correlated, if the points in scatter diagram lies on some curve, then that curve is called curve of regression. If the curve is a straight line, then it is called as a regression line. In such a case, the relation between the two variables is a linear relation. So this is the concept of regression. So the first condition is that x and y should be correlated. If x and y are correlated, if the points in the scatter diagram lies on some curve, then that curve is called, then that curve is called curve of regression. And if that curve is a straight line, then it is called line of regression, regression line. In such a case, the relation between the two variables is a linear relation. The lines of regression are used for estimating the value of one variable for a given value of other variable. Okay. Regression line of, there are two types of regression lines. Li regression line of y on x and then regression line of x on y. Now see what is regression line of y on x. It is given by y minus y bar is equal to b suffix yx dy x into bracket x minus x bar. Now here, y bar is the arithmetic mean of y, x bar is the arithmetic mean of x, and b y x, b y x is called the regression coefficient of y on x. It is called regression coefficient of y on x, and its value is equal to b y x is equal to r, r of x y, r of x y means coefficient of correlation between x and y into sigma y upon sigma x. This is the formula to find b y x. Sigma y is the standard deviation of y. Sigma x is standard deviation of x. Now you know that what is coefficient of correlation formula, R of x, y. Coefficient of correlation, its formula. In last lecture, we have discussed the coefficient of correlation formula. See here, it is R of x, y is equal to covariance of x, y upon sigma x, sigma y. Now you put this value there, that R is equal to covariance of x, y upon sigma x, sigma y. So, so R of x, y is equal to covariance, by, covariance of x, y upon sigma x, sigma y into this sigma y upon sigma x as it is. Now, sigma y get cancelled. In numerator is sigma y, denominator sigma y get cancelled. And so the next step, b y x is equal to covariance of x, y upon sigma x into sigma x, sigma x square. And this is the coefficient, uh, regression coefficient b y x. Now put here in this formula, y minus y bar is equal to bx into x minus x bar, the value of bx. And so it is y minus y bar is equal to bx is covariance of xy upon sigma x square into x minus x bar. And so this is the simplified formula of the regression line of y on x. Okay. Similarly, the regression line of x on y is given by x minus x bar is equal to bxy into bracket y minus y bar where bxy is called the regression coefficient of x on y. And its uh, formula is bxy like this, like bx, where uh, bx is equal to r of xy into sigma y by sigma x. Like that, the formula of bxy is here. After simplification, bx is covariance of xy upon sigma x square. Like that, the formula for bxy after simplification is covariance of x y upon sigma y square. So you remember it. <clears throat> and so it is x minus x bar is equal to covariance of x y upon sigma y square to y minus y bar. So this is the regression line of x on y. Note that here coefficient of correlation is calculated from the regression coefficient and the formula is coefficient of correlation is equal to r of x y is equal to under root b x y into b y x. b x y and b y x, these are the regression coefficients of x on y and y on x respectively. 
you take the you do the multiplication of these two regression coefficients and then take the square root of this of this multiplication then you will get the coefficient of correlation so this is the formula to calculate the coefficient of correlation remember it now the example on regression lines see the example obtain obtain regression lines for the following data now the uh, observation for observations for variable x and y are given here also estimate y when x is equal to 5 and estimate y when x is equal to 5 and estimate x when y is equal to 10 extension is there now you first find the regression lines heading is obtain regression lines means you find both the regression lines regression line y on x and then regression line x on y after finding both the regression lines you uh, do this uh, calculation you calculate y when x is 5 and then you calculate x when y is 10 okay now to find the regression lines first you find you construct the table now in the table the columns are here the variable columns x variable column y variable column then the x square column y square column and then x into y column like the correlation uh, example coefficient of correlation in the example of coefficient of correlation we construct the same table variable columns x variable column y variable column x square column y square column and then x into y column same table you construct here you do the entries here of n or x variables y variables then you do the calculation x square x square means square of every element in x column 6 square 2 square 10 square 4 square 8 square and so on same, same for y y square column x into y simple multiplication of x into y after uh, doing the calculation you calculate the summation also summation x means addition of all the elements in x it is 30 addition of all the elements in column y is 40 addition of all the elements in x square all the elements in column x square is 220 addition of all the entries in column y square 340 addition of all the entries in column x into y is 214 so this is the summation calculation now you find the arithmetic mean for x and y respectively so x bar is the arithmetic mean for x it is equal to summation x upon n you do the calculation summation x is 30 n means number of entries number of entries are here 1 2 3 4 5 5 n is equal to 5 so put n is equal to 5 5 30 upon 5 6 arithmetic mean for y is equal to y bar is equal to summation y upon n summation y is 40 40 upon number of entries 5 40 upon 5 which is equal to 8 so arithmetic mean for y is 8 now you find a regression line of y on x it is given by the formula is y minus y bar is equal to b y x into bracket x minus x bar. Now you know the value of b y x, regression coefficient b y x. We have discussed it here. We have discussed it here. B y x is equal to covariance of x y upon sig sigma x square. So you put here the value of b y x. covariance of xy upon sigma x square now you know what is covariance of xy covariance of xy formula is 1 upon n into summation xy minus x bar y bar upon sigma x square sigma x square means standard deviation for x it square actually standard deviation is always in square root but uh, square of standard deviation is here so no need to write the values in square root we remove the square root so it is summation x square upon n minus summation x upon n whole square this is the formula for sigma x square now you put here all the values from the table so on y bar is here 8 put y bar is equal to 8 is equal to 1 upon n n is 5 summation xy is here 214 put here summation xy is 214 from the table x bar y bar x bar is 6 y bar is 8 and multiplication of 8 and 6 is 48 put here 48 upon summation x square is here 220 220 upon n n is 5 the calculation is 44 minus summation x upon n is nothing but 
six because it is a formula of arithmetic mean. Six square, it is thirty-six. So right here thirty-six. X minus x bar. X minus x bar is here six. So right here six. Now you just simplify it. Do the calculation, and then you will get here this step. Y minus eight is equal to minus. 0.65 in bracket x minus 6. Again, you simplify y minus 8 is equal to you solve this bracket term minus 0.65 into x minus 0.65 into x. This minus and this minus plus 0.65 into 6 is 3.9. Then you transfer this minus 8 in RHS so that you will get the value of y, which is equal to minus 0.65 into x plus 11.9. And so this is the regression line of y on x. now the deduction is here you find the value of y also estimate y when x is equal to 5 so put here in the regression line of y on x this is the regression line of y on x here put x is equal to 5 we put x is equal to 5 then this is the value of y 8.65 so this is the deduction so this is the regression line of y on x now next is now regression line of x on y The formula is here: x minus x bar is equal to b x y to y minus y bar. Now b x y is the regression coefficient x on y, and the formula is covariance of x y upon sigma y square. We have discussed it starting. We have discussed the formula for regression line of x on y, and you just put the value of covariance of x y. Covariance of x y it is from the core sorry coefficient of correlation formula. It is one upon n into summation. X y minus x bar y bar upon sigma y square y minus y bar. Now put all the values. Put x bar is equal to six. Then one by n, one by n is five. One by five summation x y is two one four. X bar into y bar means six into eight upon summation y square. Sigma y square means standard deviation of y. It's square. So you remove the square root sign because it is the square of standard deviation. Three forty upon five minus Sigma y upon n, some sorry summation y upon n is the formula for arithmetic mean of y. So arithmetic mean of y is eight eight square. Y minus y bar y bar is eight. Now you do the calculation here. Simplify it. After simplification, you will get this equation here. X minus six is equal to minus one point three into y minus eight. And then you just simplify. You solve this bracket term, and then in last you will get. X is equal to minus one point three y plus sixteen point four after simplification. Okay. So x is equal to minus one point three y plus sixteen point four. Now there is deduction here for this example. So what is the deduction? Estimate x when y is equal to ten. Now. When y is equal to ten, what is the value of x here? When y is equal to ten, means this is the regression line of x on y. Here you put y is equal to ten. If we put y is equal to ten, then we have the value of x. And it is three point four. So deduction on regression line of x on y. So this is the example of regression line. You find the obtain the regression lines. Means you find here both the regression lines. Regression line y on x and then regression line x on y. Now next example, you take it as homework. You try to solve it. Obtain regression line of y on x for the following data. Also estimate y when x 